Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to go over how to print column and row titles on multiple pages. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have an Excel workbook here and it covers the customer in column A as well as the months of the year in row one. Now as I move through, you can see there's about 62 rows of data here and as we get down to the bottom, there's the last of it. Now if I go to print out something like this, I want to make sure that it's printed out correctly and that it's looking good. But by default, Excel does not know that this is the heading area and that these are the customers. So I need to first see how it'll look if it's printed. If I go to File and I go to Print, you guys will see here's my customers along the left side and here's my months along the top. And I say, all right, that page looks good. And I go to Page 2. And you'll see now I'm missing the months at the top. It's going to be really difficult if I send this spreadsheet to somebody uh, or if I hand it to somebody for them to know what month they're looking at for which customer or even that these are customers because there's no headings up at the top. As I move forward to page three, you'll see that page three, it does have the headings at the top. However, now I don't know that these are actually customers over on the left side. As I move on to heading four, or page four rather, you can now see that this one does not include the headings at the top, nor does it include the customers on the left side. We need to change our print title so that it actually keeps all of these uh, rows and columns included in our document. So, or at least when we print it. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell Excel, hey, we need to make sure that we include these when we go to print. And so that's gonna be in our page layout tab. In the page layout tab, there's the page setup group right here. And then there's a button right here that says print titles. And this says choose rows and columns you'd like to repeat on each printed page, such as those with labels or headers. Well, this is exact, exactly what we want. When I click this, it's going to open up the page setup dialog box, and we're on the tab for sheet. All right, so right here is where we would specify a print area. That looked like it was okay, so I'm not going to mess with that. But right here, it says rows to repeat at top. We know that we want to include customer through uh, December up at the top. So all I have to do is click right here where it says rows to repeat at top and then I move my cursor from over here all the way over here to row one and I'm circling the one over here on the left side and I'm just going to click on one and it'll say absolute for row one. So row one is now selected. So now if I go up here or rather go down here to print preview I can see that when I go to print there is row one like we expected but that was already there but now on page two, where this was no was not here before, now it is. I can now see my customer in the first six months. As I move forward, I can now see, okay, there's July through December. And then on the last page, there's July through December. So row one has been repeated. All right, so that's looking good. Now what I want to do is click back. And I, now I want to set up my column on the left side column A, so that then I can see my customers as it gets printed. Because again, remember on the later pages, page three and four, there's no customer on the left side. We need to tell Excel to include that when we go to print. So now we have to go back to the page layout tab, page setup group, print titles, click on print titles, and then we have this option here, columns to repeat at left. You click right inside here for the columns to repeat at left. You go over to column A, I'm circling it right here, column A, and I'm just going to click on the A, and you'll see that it says absolute column A through absolute column A. Keep in mind that if I wanted to include the first two columns, all I would need to do is click and drag from A to B. Okay. Same goes for rows. I could just click and drag from row one down to any rows that I'm interested in, and that's how you would select multiple. But in this case, I'm just going to choose uh, row one and column A. Now I'm going to go to print preview. On print preview, we now see that page one is looking good. That's as expected. Page two now includes the customer. Page three has our customer as well as our top line. Page four now has the customer as well as the top line. So printing out these columns and rows will actually help it so that if I send this paper or if I give this paper to somebody, they'll actually be able to read uh, what the column headings and row headings are. And so that's really helpful for, especially if you're making your Excel spreadsheet into a PDF or something like that, this is an easy way to make sure that everybody gets the information that they need on every single page. So hopefully this video has helped you out and now you know how to print column and row titles on multiple pages. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel.
If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.